Hello and welcome to the channel. My name as always is Jamie C and welcome to our one minute review series, a place where we review a song, an album, a project, a piece of tech, or a piece of music in less than a minute to make it easier for you to find the thing you're looking for and allow you to spend more time experiencing it. Now this wasn't the video I had planned for today because it actually got my dates mixed up. I thought this album came out in April, but it didn't. It came out in March and it came out on the 26th of March. And this is Ben Howard's Collections from the Whiteout. It hit our streaming services and I think it's been pretty well received. Now I didn't really want to miss my opportunity to put my review out for his fourth studio album. So that's why this video is here today and not the one I planned. That will be coming next week and we'll be reviewing some more independent artists. Now remember, before I get into this, let us know in the comments what you think about this album, what you think about this music. Is it good? Is it bad? Also, let us know what you think about what we're doing. If you like it, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down and let us know in the comments why. Anyway, without further delay, let's get into our one minute review. Collections from the Whiteout is a complex album of 16 tracks. Some that fans of Ben Howard will find familiar, while others they will not. It's quite paradoxical in the sense of the different songs that are brought together. You have neo-folk songs like Metaphysical Cantations and Rookie, where you have other songs that embrace elements of jazz, pop, some distorted and muddy sounds. Songs like Sage She Was Burning is very, very different. And then there is also some electronic sounds thrown in there too. The subject matter is also very different from previous albums that Howard has released. It seems to be less personal than previous albums, which is not a criticism because it's always great when artists reinvent themselves. Howard is a great storyteller and really anything goes with him, but it's a very different perspective than previous albums. It is also very well produced, which is what you would expect. The soundscapes are full, they're balanced, and there is of course the familiar melancholic sound of Howard's vocals inherent throughout everything. It is also worthy to note that this album was a collaboration between Howard and Aaron Desner from The National. Now, if you know anything about Desner, you know he, he, he touches on experimental elements. And this is why this album is so paradoxical. There is no straight narrative because experimentation takes front and center. So we think you will either love this because of the experimental side and the fact that there's loads of great things to explore and uncover on this album, or it might turn heads of some of Howard's neo-folk fans. Just making it to the time there before we hit absolute zero, but there you have it, my friends, a very concise overview of Howard's latest album, Collections from the Whiteout. Now, as mentioned at the start, please let us know what you think about that. Hit us up in the comments or drop us a message at Elevate Reviews on Twitter. Now, as this is a short video, we thought we would do a review of one of Howard's more famous songs. But before we get into that, if you are a fan of Evanescence, it should be linked somewhere on the screen. We did another video where we reviewed their latest album, The Bitter Truth. So go and check that out. Now, the bonus song that we're going to talk about today is Old Pine, which is such a brilliant song and one of Howard's most famous. So let's get into a one minute review of Old Pine. Old Pine is a neo-folk slash folk pop song with a dynamic and ever-changing pace. It embraces nostalgic and positive characteristics which make this song so attractive to so many people. The delicate and serenading guitar playing which hosts a lovely upbeat riff, the light percussion, the aforementioned changes in pace all beautifully entwined together to complement Howard's melancholic vocal tone. This song is so warm and it's warm because of the combination of the rigging notes, the string slides, the supporting vocal ads, the violins, and a song structure that allows the energy to fall and build throughout the five and a half minutes of its existence. This song is all about the raw unequivocal guitar playing and the other elements all help to fill this song up and give it a great production value. Old Pine is all about looking back at positive and great memories and how it exploits the idea that nostalgia is bittersweet. He focuses on the sweet and the positive which people are going to relate to, which means lots of people are going to fall in love with this song as he sings about those positive times as the old pine fell. And there you have it, my friends, a song with exquisite guitar playing and a subject matter that many people will be drawn to. That is, of course, Old Pine by Ben Howard. But let us know what you think in the comments. 
is our analysis, right? What do you think of the song? Why do you think that song is so good and why so many people enjoy it? Also, let us know what you think about his latest album, Collections from the Whiteout, which we talked about earlier in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, my friends, and if you did, then please give us a like, and if you are enjoying what we're doing, then please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when we have a brand new video out. Also, please go and check out that one minute review of Evanescence, which is linked on your screens now, and let us know what you thought of The Bitter Truth. We also do larger videos, so jump over onto the Elevate page and see if you can find something there that you will enjoy. If you do like discovering music, also check out Ava Sound's five songs to listen to this week, as they showcase some songs you probably haven't heard, but something that you might enjoy. Remember to follow us on Twitter so you can hear the latest news and reviews of things that we are doing and make sure you go and check out that Evanescence One Minute Review as I said earlier. Thank you so much for tuning into this video my friends and I will catch you on the next one.